If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another video, EA have finally upgraded some of these cards and of course Ryan Kent's Europa League live card has been upgraded, he is now an 84 rated left wing as opposed to the 82 that he was before, I'm not sure entirely how, um, how big the upgrade has been because obviously there's no, well, I, mean, I could possibly go back and try and find the old video and have a look at the in-game stats but it's very difficult to to find out because uh footbin just override the card right so there's no like this is what he was this is what he is now it's a bit irritating but um i can't exactly tell you what he was beforehand but we can have a look at the card as if we've got completely fresh eyes so a five star weak foot which is one of the reasons why i chose him over i say chose him over forest did forest have a five star weak foot as well i don't know but either way He's got a five-star weak foot. He's got four-star skills, high medium work rates. And, of course, now we have what looks like a really good card. I mean, 99 acceleration, 98 sprint speed, 89 finishing, 91 positioning. This is an 84-rated card. It is quite easily better than that. I mean, in in fact, right? if, if you look at Footbin, let's go over there just one second. Look at this, right? He is an, an uh, this is the right hand side. He's actually an 88.5, not even 88, he's nearly 89. He's an 88.5 left wing, and I haven't got a chem style on him. He's only 84 in terms of his overall on the card, but he's actually, if you look at all the stats of what's important and where and why and what have you, he's actually calculated as an 88.5. Now, I have a finisher chem style on him because I use him as a striker. And if you whack that on, he only turns into a 90 rated left wing, but he turns into an 85 rated striker. If you were to give him a chem style sort of more suited to that left wing position, you'd be looking at a Maestro, 93 rated, maybe even uh, who, what, an engine, 92 rated. So I think probably the Maestro is, is the way forward then. I uh, don't know why I didn't click it. So the Maestro, uh, you only get five on reactions, but that's the most you can get anyway. You get 10 dribbling, five ball control. Shot power goes up, positioning goes up, the passing is now 99, vision's 91. Like I said, I use him as a striker, so my finisher chem style gives him that strength and refines the finishing somewhat. But to be honest, I am going to play him a little bit wider. I might bring him, I might play him up front as well, but still, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and put a maestro chem style on mine. And now that that's been applied, we can see what it does. So the shot power is up to 91, long shots up to 95, attack positions up to 96. And as I said, this takes him up to a 93 rated left wing. I mean, it, it, it just goes to show that you don't need super high rated cards. I mean, when this came out, it was 30 to 35k. And now, okay, with a little bit of, I wouldn't say luck, because obviously Rangers have earned their victory. But when you're... When you're choosing which one to go for, of course, Celtic are out now, Rangers are through. So if you'd picked Forest, you'd be a little bit miffed. But now that you've gone with Kent, of course, you've got that upgrade. So you did gamble with it slightly. But it does go to show that with an 84-rated card, we now have a 93-rated card, essentially, with a chem style. And it only costs 30,000 coins. You don't need to break the bank in this game to have very good cards. The reactions are still going to be quite poor in terms of the stat itself because it's only gone up to 77 we haven't touched composure but and i i have this theory and i'll prove it in game 99 acceleration 98 sprint speed 99 agility and now 89 ball control with 99 dribbling those reactions won't matter at all and i will first thing i'll do when i take kickoff we'll give him the ball we'll do a few drag backs and we'll basically try and, and, and test the reactions because we know that this card is going to be good. You know, we've, we've, we've used the 82 before. He was tearing people apart, especially off the bench. I've got a fantastic record with him. And I honestly don't see that changing. The team I've got him in is that right there. I'm loving that Fred card. Uh, we've got Jordan Henderson in there as well. I'm actually going to use Kante and Fred as CMs. I'm going to put um, Dan James and... Kent up front, Hadji's going to be the cam, and Jordan Henderson is going to be my CDM. Without any further ado, let's get into the gameplay. My opponent for this game has three icons. He's got that uh, Acuna in there. He's got his, uh, his Dan James. It's a very, very good team. Well, already Kent's going to go off here, and he's going to beat his man. He's kept the ball in play. He's still going. He's been dispossessed, but he's still going again. He's going to cut inside. 
Nesta was there to stop him, and that's my fault more than it is Kent's. Uh, I didn't really know what to do with it, if I'm honest. And we're going to just launch Kent down the side. Now, have a look at this, right? That is responsive. Skill move there, La Croqueta. He's going to go around the outside again. He's been pushed off the ball. That's a foul, in my opinion. I mean, he's just as responsive as you'd expect him, well, you'd hope him to be. Like, if, if I said to you he's got 90 reactions, you'd now go, yeah, no, I can see that. I mean, look at the pace on him. Absolutely unreal. Across the keeper. Should have scored there. My fault, really. And again, he's just there constantly. Look at that. Lovely skill move. Can he go round? I have to drag it back and go inside here. And again, couldn't ball roll around uh, Guardiola, unfortunately. But there is absolutely nothing wrong with this kid's uh, reactions. He's, uh, he's he's perfectly fine. And you look at the stats and you think to yourself, oh, it's a shame he's only got 90, uh, sorry, 72 or whatever it is, reactions. But in, in actual fact, because his dribbling is so high, it really isn't a problem. And his pace is absolutely electric. I tried to heel to heel there, but it didn't uh, allow me to do it. Kante tried to play the ball back through, but it went all the way around the outside. And I've lost that. He could have been released sooner and we might have had a... A run at goal. Fred inside. Here is Kent. Gets himself into the penalty area. Drills it toward goal. I think he took a, a, a... Not an extra touch, but he took a little bit too long there, in my opinion. We've gone for goal there. Kent's going to get it back. He's onside. He shoots. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The reactions, the slight delay in taking the shot twice from Kent. And I don't think it's his fault. I think it's the... Uh, whatever problems EA are having right now. The servers keep going up and down. Um, I'm recording this on a Sunday afternoon, so the servers are still quite dodgy, and I'm not sure whether they're back fully, because Kent probably should have scored twice by now. Here's Kent round the corner for James. I'm just waiting for that ball. There it is. Can we finally put this ball in the back of the net? No, that's my, that is 100% my fault. I hit it far too soon. I expected him to bring out his uh, goalkeeper. He didn't. I tried to slot it under, but there was there was no slot to be had if you will you know like he didn't bring his goalkeeper out enough and that's my fault for not um for just anticipating it rather than waiting for it Kante right again ball through he's away I mean the pace is just unparalleled you can't catch him and this time he puts it in the back of the net I didn't panic I waited I, I saw the opportunity and I scored and that is quite literally the fourth time he's got through on goal like that. Just bearing down. You can't catch him. He's so quick. And my opponent is playing, I wouldn't say a high line. It's sort of a mid-range. Maybe a four or five depth or something of that nature. And he just keeps getting caught. And of course, the likes of Nesta, he's not going to catch him. That's good football from Robertson. Gets it into Kent. Back to Robertson. It's good. Can he get the ball through to Dan James? Yes, he can. That's uh, quite remarkable. Can Dan James play it through to Hadji? Yes, he can, but Hadji's just not at the races. He's been off for weeks. There's uh, James Fred balling toward Hadji. This is Kent. Good turn of pace. He's been fouled there on the edge of the area. Great little drag back. Reactions, absolutely fine. Still um, still adamant that they don't mean anything if so long as your ball control and your agility is high. What a defensive challenge by Joshua Kimmich. Mane does well. Ball through. Kent is through. He's going to beat his man, is he? Well, he should do. There's no way. There is absolutely no way Mendy should be keeping up with him there. He should be gone. That is brilliant. That was nearly just as good. We've still got it, though. That's fantastic. He's in on goal. He shoots. He scores. And Kent is so good. And my opponent has had enough. And I don't blame him. He brought his Kent on as well, though. If we go and have a look. As you can see, he brought Kent on instead of Aguero. And he had much more success with Kent than he did Aguero. I kept... Um, I actually dropped back. Uh, because I saw he brought him on at half time. So I dropped back my line. Because I didn't want to keep getting caught like he did. He didn't drop back. I think even if you do play like a one drop back or something. And you can see that he pushed Nesta out to the to the left and he brought Mendy into the middle to try and stop the pace of Kent through the middle. And it worked once when we should have got through, but Mendy somehow kept pace with him. But I think even if you do see that your opponent has Kent or, or whomever it may be with pace, even if you do go and, and drop your back line a little bit. Now, I didn't go proper deep. I didn't go like one drop back because that would have just penned me in too much, right? But I dropped it down to like three 
and I play uh, pressure on heavy touch. But um, just doing that stopped the running behind with Kent. However, if you do that, Kent is still so good on the ball and, and it is dribbling. And like the way we just scored that goal, then we just swiveled our man. He's too quick and he's in behind and his, his finishing is very, very good. The goals I didn't score with him, completely my fault. Uh, he scored two in the end, but uh, I should have scored maybe four or five. And the reason I didn't is just because of bad decision making. But uh, that is an upgrade. I think it's safe to say that uh, that Ryan Kent upgrade is a bit mad. I mean, he was doing what I was showing you in the clips before the upgrade, really, with the um, breaking through the back line because he had great agility. He's very, very quick. So every time you'd come up against him, you'd be like, right, I'm going to be chasing him down the entire game. And to the point where my opponent in that game that I showed you uh, moved... Nesta, who was just too slow and couldn't keep up with him, out to the left and brought Mendy into the middle. Uh, but then, like I said, he brought his Kent on. I managed to just drop my back line. Had he dropped the back line, I would have stopped catching him in behind. And it would have been a case of trying to play into the edge of the penalty area and try to swivel his defenders that way, which in the end he managed to do. So, anyway, is this a great upgrade? You betcha. I mean, it is a fantastic card now. How you can have an 84 rated card, but when you calculate the stats, it comes to an 88. Or is he, he's an 87 rated cam, he's an 88 rated left wing or right wing or left mid or right mid, and he's an 86 rated centre forward, and that's without a chem style. I don't think I've ever seen a card that low rated be that good on paper before. I Honestly, I think this is the best 84 rated card we have ever had in any FIFA. Absolutely incredible. With a chem style... 93 rated i am going to be using this card all the time from now on he is so good and it's so easy to abuse it as well so if you do end up playing against it my advice would be drop your back line not too much because you are going to just invite too much pressure drop it to like maybe three depth uh if you do end up playing drop back or, or balanced or pressure on heavy touch whatever it may be but drop it to three depth if you still have problems drop it by one more i would urge you not to play on one depth though because that's going to be I mean, I, like I said, you're just going to be inviting pressure. But, um, yeah, just drop it a little bit and make sure you've got those pacey defenders. Even what my opponent did by moving Nestor out and Mendy into the middle did help him a little bit. Um, not a lot, because we could then go around the outside through Nestor. But still, what an upgrade that is. I am a big fan of that. I'm so glad I did it. If you didn't do it, you have my sympathies. Uh, but uh, I love it. If you have enjoyed today's video... Do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.